So your air filters can be in various locations depending on your home. And my recommendation as far as when to replace the filter is generally every three months. Now this varies depending on if you have a pet that sheds, if you have allergies, things of that nature. Uh, three months is a good gauge. Now the problem arises when this flame sensor gets dirty over the years and it thinks that there is no flame. So it will turn the system off. We're going to remove the flame sensor. A lot of people are concerned about being too aggressive with the flame sensor. You can use pretty much any grit sandpaper. As a matter of fact, you can actually use a dollar bill. It's abrasive enough to where it'll just remove that white buildup. And that's all you have to do. We're going to be running through a complete cycle on the furnace just to make sure that everything is working like it should. Now the first thing you'll notice is your inducer draft motor will come on. And the next thing you'll notice is the hot surface igniter will glow red, after which we will hear the gas valve turn on and then we will have ignition. So there we go, we've got our flames. Now the flame sensor is sensing that flame and telling the board, okay, continue. And after about 30 seconds is the fan will blow that air over the hot heat exchanger allowing you to have warm air coming out of your vents. And a major thing that we want to keep in mind here is that the flames are blue. Now, if you see orange flames when you look in here, you see a lot of orange, that's a good indicator that the heat exchanger could possibly have a crack or there's an issue with exhaust, not enough exhaust being pulled out of the uh, flue. 